my name is Jeff Pappenfuss. I'm a personal mortgage consultant with Mortgages Unlimited. And Brian Stites, Remax Results, Talbot Smith Group. And uh, again, I'm talking with Jeff Pappenfuss here. And um, he is a mortgage consultant that I've worked with for over 25 years. We're going to be talking about the cost of waiting in terms of purchasing a home. So let's dive right into it, Jeff. Yeah, that's right, Brian. So I think a lot of times when I'm talking with clients, it becomes a little uncomfortable when I use the statement, now is the best time to buy. I totally. feel like I'm putting on my salesperson right. hat instead of being a consultant. But right. what I want to do is talk about the specific benefits and numbers as to why that's a true statement. Yeah, so great. If you take a purchase of say over 300,000, someone that's financing 90% using a loan amount of 279,000. Which is pretty standard, that's about the right. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna produce a principal and interest payment of about $1,500. Okay. And unfortunately, 70% of that is going to be, um, what's that called again? Interest. Interest, that's right. <laughs> Mortgage interest. Yeah. So um, over the course of the first year, you're gonna be paying over twelve thousand seven hundred dollars in wow. mortgage interest. Okay. You add on top of that about thirty two hundred in real estate taxes. You're paying a total of over fifteen thousand dollars in interest in real estate taxes. Okay. Now the great thing is that's tax deductible. Right. You can reduce your taxable income by that amount, and that's why there's a huge benefit with home ownership. Correct. Yeah. So totally. if you're making seventy five thousand dollars a year, you're not paying taxes on that full seventy five thousand. You're only paying taxes on sixty thousand. Yep. And that's a real benefit when it comes to looking at the difference between putting that decision off another year. Now, another thing is about the fact that home prices are going down, right? <laughs> oh, I wish. Yeah. No, home prices are not going down. Yeah. I think on the, if we just take it off the last couple of years, I would say 3 to 5% would be a very, very conservative number that they've been rising. Okay. So using a 310 purchase price, a 4% increase would take that up to about 322,000. If you were to wait each year. Yeah, yeah. yep, yep. Yep, about $12,000 increase. And we've also seen interest rates go up about three quarters of a percent since June, July of last year. Okay. So they were at 3.88%, now they're at about 4.54%. Do you see that continuing to rise? Yeah, that's been the general overall consensus is that interest rates will continue to bump up. Okay. So if someone does delay, if they do go up another three quarters of a percent, what does that convert to numbers that's, wise? And that's the important, Yeah. that's what we need to know to that's make a right. smart decision. So the yeah. principal and interest portion of the payment would increase $122 per month. And by financing the additional purchase price, if you put the same percent down, okay. your total monthly payment for interest and uh, you know the purchase price, the monthly payment is going to go up about one hundred and eighty-four dollars per month. Just nothing else has changed other than yeah, the just interest that you're rate. you're financing more, higher purchase price, higher loan amount, yep. and the interest rate going up. Those two th two things combined to make the monthly payment one hundred and eighty-four dollars higher per month, oh, or for the same house. That's right. Or about $2,200 $2, per year, $66,000 over the life of 30-year mortgage. Wow. That is that's that is amazing. It's significant. Yeah. So that's the cost of waiting. Now, everybody's situation and circumstance is different. Right. Right. But, and this is where we get in the consultant salesperson. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So it's important to just lay it out on the table yep. and make sure you're looking at all of the, you know, all of the details, all the circumstances that are going to impact your decision as to whether you decide to wait right. or to buy now. Right. And when you look at the numbers, there are some real benefits because that difference between 310,000 and 322,000 in appreciation, yep. if you do buy now, whose pocket does that go into? Yeah. Goes into your pocket. And exactly. then you also have the benefits of the tax deduction. So, right, right. And that net effective cost of that tax deduction, if you take the amount of interest in real estate taxes, okay, $15,000, if you're in a 25% tax bracket, right. 25% of those two figures is about thirty-seven hundred dollars or three hundred and twelve dollars per month. So just in taxes. Just in so the taxes. The benefits are all over the board here. That's that's amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I think it's great to uh, to sit down and have a free consultation. Yep. Look at the numbers and determine exactly if this is something that that you would want to do. Right.
right? So yeah, is now the right time to buy? It might be the right time to buy for you or it might not be, but at least you have all the information. And again, as, uh, as a real estate consultant and a mortgage consultant, that's our job is to, uh, is to give you the information and then let you make the decision. So thanks a lot for checking this out and um, we'll look forward to seeing you. Thank you. And that's a wrap.